Hi, I'm Nerida Conway and I'm in this most glorious location, one of my favourite spots in Victoria. It's de Bordley's Winery in the Yarra Valley with Leanne de Bordley. Hi Leanne. Hi Nerida. Good to have you here. Oh, again. thank you. I love being here. No matter what the weather is like, whether it's cold, hot, in between, it is just stunning and it looks so different at different times of the year. It, it does and I think that's the beauty of it. It mm. doesn't matter if you come in winter just seeing the vines all gnarled but oh. at this time of year when the spring growth is coming through and you just know that summer's around the corner and it's yeah time for a party. <laughs> and I'm getting so excited about coming into spring carnival and summer and parties 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 mm -hmm. picnics 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 um, and this is one of my favourite topics Anything that sparkles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Usually diamonds, but on this occasion, yes, <laughs> sparkling special. wine. Mm. So please tell me all about this. So this is our Rococo sparkling, and uh, we have made Rococo before, but mm. we've changed the packaging and we've actually changed uh, the style of wine just a little bit. Oh. <laughs> what a gorgeous sound. I know. <laughs> Favourite sound ever. <laughs> Oh, look at all of that yes. beautiful bubbliness. So, Leanne, how is this different to the other Rococo? Well, besides the packaging, yes. um, the last Rococo was a Blanc de Blanc, which yes. basically means white, made from Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. uh, this one here, we've actually, it's still Chardonnay, mm -hmm. but with a little bit of Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. Oh. Meunier. And that just, that just helps to sort of give a probably a little bit more complexity to the wine. Yes. So it's sort of same, same, but different. Yeah. Same, same, but different. <laughs> Love it. Cheers. Yes. So you get those um, really lovely mm. um, biscuity aromas. Oh, that is beautiful. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay, this is going to be my spring carnival choice. Mmm To just pull out of my esky. And I think that's the beauty with um, sparkling wine. Mm. It's um, it is a festive wine, but it is, it's a nice way to start a meal. So refreshing. It is, and mm. it's actually quite, it goes quite well with uh, cheese as well. Mm. I love the fact that this is not, a lot of sparkling wines are very sweet and mm. a little bit sickly, and so you have sort of half a glass or one glass and then you're really over it. Mm -hmm. And I find with this one, mm. I'm not over it. Yeah. <laughs> So I like to have two or three bottles of it in my fridge lined up ready to excellent, go. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. Well, and Adam has already matched it to some beautiful carpaccio kingfish with citrus and it was beautiful. And then he also matched it with cheese. Yes. Well, that's the beauty of it. So mm. at the beginning of the meal, at the end of the meal. And if, any and time. And during. <laughs> yes. I don't want to sound like a tightwad <laughs> because, you know, I will pay anything when it comes to sparkling, almost. But it's premium. The packaging looks very posh. Mm. And can I afford to buy several bottles of it? The lovely thing with this sparkling wine is it's not expensive at all and you would be looking at around the $20 mark. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Oh, mm. my gosh. Now I can aff afford to buy my posh shoes for this one carnival <laughs> and my sparkling <laughs> wine. Excellent. That's just living the dream. Mm. Well, here's cheers. Thank you. <laughs>